damn you! No, I won't. I won't let this stop me. Damn it! No, I won't. a thousand needles into my brain and now they've started drilling but pain i can handle pain i can live and breathe it this is nothing nothing I wouldn't be willing to sacrifice this. I can build another, and another, as many as necessary. But, but you can access your network now, and your sword. And? What does it matter? Do you honestly think I need my powers or a weapon to kill you, Stanley? Perhaps your friend, but no, not even her. She's far too soft. If she'd increased the intensity on that feedback loop of hers, I may not be standing right now, but she couldn't risk causing any permanent damage. She can't play the game to win. She lacks the stomach for it. That's why I'm still standing. And your new lover is just a corpse in a pile of scrap metal. You just never learn. You're still too damn arrogant. now, but, but not much longer. That shell is giving out. This is suicide! Nova! <coughs> Nova! Nova! What's up? Hey. 
Hey, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I was just having a moment, I think. You're incredible, you know that? Asking if I'm okay after what you just pulled? I mean, you dive bomb into a supercomputer and you ask if I'm okay. Really? Yeah, really? I meant what I said, you know. I really do care about my weird henchman boyfriend. And I care about my crazy superhero girlfriend. Hell of a time to put a label on this thing, by the way. Why is that? Having second thoughts? Not a chance. You just have a flair for the dramatic, that's all. But please don't pull the self-sacrifice lever every time we hit a milestone, all right? Hey, babe, it's our anniversary, so I'm just going to dive bomb this lizard monster into an oil tanker to recreate our first date. See you at dinner, hopefully. Sorry, that's part of the deal. As a superhero, I have to pull at least one stunt like that a month. It's contractual. No, admittedly, that one was a little dicey. I'd say it worked out, though. Activating that feedback loop really helped. Without it, she may have had a shot at overpowering me. That was a good call. You had a lot of good calls today, actually. Honestly, I think you're really cut out for the superhero thing. <laughs> yeah, sure. You're screwing with me, right? Not at all. I'm being serious. But we can go over all of that later. For now, just get her secured and get the hell out of here. I've seen enough of these walls to last a lifetime. No kidding. You and me both. Why did I set this alarm so early? Because today's your big day and you can't be late. Oh, right. Well, in that case, I withdraw my name from consideration or whatever. It's sleeping time still. Nuh-uh, no way. Not after how you worked so hard to get here. Plus, you'd make me look bad. Do you know how many recommendations I've even given? Three total since the founding. You'll tank my batting average. Fine, fine. But only if we stop for breakfast. Much as I love seeing your face in two places at once, I can't eat another bowl of that cereal today. Way ahead of you. There's bagels in the kitchen. Now come on. Wow, Victoria Vasquez out and about picking up takeout. Did you use a drone this time or just an alias? Ooh, which name did you use? Tatiana? Remember, if you use that one, you have to do the accent. I absolutely did not agree to those terms. But if you have to know, it was Camille this time. Ooh la la, Camille you say? I hope you wore your big sunglasses and foofy coat. So maybe we should be eating croissant. You're the worst. I should never tell you when I do that. And yet, whenever you call me the worst, that's how you follow up. Sending me some real mixed messages here. <sighs> Just get up, doofus. Come on, we really can't be late. And I know how you are about your routine. The term, ma'am, is ritual. It centers my spirit. And freshens your breath, thank God. See you on the roof in 20, rookie. Hey, Nightingale, back from Vancouver already? You crossed that photo op with the Mounties off your bucket list? Morning, Stan. 
Congratulations, I'm so excited for you. And yeah, I did eventually. Though it took a little time since someone's powers fried every cell phone in the area. Look, you knew what you were signing up for when you gave me the green light, Chicken Wings. And at least they dropped that threat to revoke our hero visas. I swear, if you don't stop calling me Chicken Wings, I'm gonna put you in a chicken wing. Just because I forgot to manifest my left wing that one time. She's not kidding, Fluke. Her submission game's really coming along. Oh, and congrats, Stan. You earned it. Yeah, congrats, kid. Thanks, guys. Guess I'll be seeing you out there. Hey there, sunshine. Looking good? I'm feeling the fit. When Nova told me you were gonna keep some purple in there, I was a little worried. But it actually works. If I didn't know any better, I might think there's a real badass under all that steel. Thanks. I just wanted to keep a bit of the old me in there, you know? Remember where I started and all that. But any illusion of me being a badass is all Nova. She really pulled off a miracle there. The wonders of modern technology, right? You can say that again. Damn, I kinda want an upgrade now. Oh, there she is. Hey, Nova. When are you gonna hook me up with one of these suits? I'm totally sold on them now. No way. You'd break it in a day. Besides, you'd hate it. None of my designs are sleeveless. Ah, shit. My only weakness. Really? You can't make, like, a mecha tank top or anything? So lame. But you installed that remote-controlled butt window, right? Oh, you know I did. Seriously, don't you get enough of that when we're home? Nope, it's never enough. But no, not seriously. As far as you know. Well, I better get up there so I can smile and shake hands with all the other rookies. You sure you don't want me to bring a trash can for our photo op? You know, for all time's sake. Certain. I'll take a handshake and a smile like everyone else. Thanks. Ah, you're no fun. Well, guess I shouldn't keep them waiting. Guess not. But first, I just wanted to say I... I'm really proud of you, Stan. I mean it. And not just because you're my weird henchman boyfriend. Thanks. But you can't use that anymore, remember? I'm your weird superhero boyfriend now. Yeah, you are, aren't you? End of an era. But only if you get that butt over to the stage, rookie. I'm gonna get paid back with interest for all the times I said that, huh? You'd better believe it. before the might and glory of the all-powerful and all-inclusive Lord Bedlam! Do you see what happens when you defy me, you sniveling peons? Do you see what happens when you dare try to upsell me with a lifetime warranty? Quickly, my acolytes, grab as many of those USB sticks as you can from the displays by the counter as penance for this retail's repulsive service. Then we shall seize the soft pretzel stand! Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Actually, that's not really true, is it? Soft pretzels are more of a lateral move from dog food. Wouldn't you agree? On the contrary, I'd say it's a step up. Higher value to weight ratio, humans can eat it instead of dogs, just an all around improvement. Where were the soft pretzel raids when I was there? When you were... You think he's gonna figure it out? Just give it a second. No, it can't be! It's you! You're... You're... Uh, you're... Hold on. Well, you called me a lot of things, but I think most were just synonyms for traitor, remember? There really were a lot of them, weren't there? Which was your favorite? I'm partial to filthy treasonous. Oh, jumping Judas, no question. 
You missed that one, though. Stan? It's really you! This is... This is... Excellent! At long last, after so many years of searching, I finally have a true nemesis! Well then, Stan! Come forth! Come forth and stop me if you dare! But know this, I, the stupendous and superlative Lord Bedlam, shall not go quietly into the villainous night. No, I, Lord Bedlam, shall... Yeah, I've heard this one before. You ready? Don't you never ask. <laughs> So, how was it? Your first day as an officially licensed superhero? Was it everything you imagined? Hard to say. I never really imagined myself being in a position like this. Not until recently, anyway. Not until I met you, I suppose. I mean, you're the one who got me here, if I'm being honest. You never give yourself enough credit. You did this, Stan. Maybe I prodded you a little, but you're the one who made it happen. It's like I told you, that's kind of the point of the superhero thing. No one makes you, no one asks you. It's a path only you can choose. You told me once that you were just a guy who clocked in and clocked out. That not everyone got to do something they love. Do you remember that? Yeah, that was when we first met. Well, the first time we met when you weren't kicking my ass anyway. You think you'd say that now? About this? No. Definitely not. Didn't think so. You've come a long way. I'm glad. And not just because you're better off for it. I admit there's selfish reasons too. Like getting to share this view. It's pretty spectacular. Not that I need to tell you that. Any view you'd risk stepping out of your armor for must be incredible. Well, I'm flattered, but this time I may have done just a little bit of planning. So there may be a minor cell phone and satellite blackout centered around this building right now. And as luck would have it, that means no one can hear or see us unless they've got a helicopter and a set of binoculars. So we're totally alone up here. All through sheer coincidence, of course. That's more like you. Still a lot of trouble to go through, isn't it? Maybe, but I always wanted to share this spot with someone one day. I just never found the right person. Not until now. I just... I want to share everything with you. There'll be times where it isn't easy, even times where it's downright crazy, but... But we can get through it. The two of us. Together. Yeah. Together. There's nothing in my head I can try to meditate But I end up sound asleep instead It's kind of like a paradox Pandora's box with a padlock made of clay Got my engine primed, ignition timed Launch sequence underway But what?
accelerate too fast you can run at hyper speed for a while but eventually you'll crash now i know the game i'm in and the way to win and the strategy to play it's an unfair sport with a deadly card that's painted shades of gray but what can i say ain't nothing i can do today waiting for a miracle so satirical to think that way this is how i spend my